and Eli had, right? Yeah, yeah. Eli played triple A. Triple A, okay. I just have a graphic of young guys. I was just trying to figure out how many. Well, Kiner's here waiting for you, though, Emily, right now. So. Okay, hi, Izzy. Hi. Um, Izzy, when you look back, I mean, obviously still a handful of games to play this season. What have you taken most from it as a whole? Uh, just the experience side of um, playing every day for my first my first uh, time in the big leagues. Um, you know, the way I took care of my body, um, the days I didn't, how I felt different, um, the days I did, um, you know, just the differences in the way my body felt based on my preparation and just going about my business like that. How, you know, you with all the, you know, the catching last year and all the, the things that you went through, what, what sort of, can you quantify the luxury, not even luxury, but how beneficial it has been to you to be pretty consistent where you are? Yeah, I mean, I just took my myself first for the first time. Um, it was nice to just, you know, really give myself the, the chance that I deserve. I feel like uh, when I was catching, I was kind of just doing everything for everyone else and not really putting my happiness first. So I think this year I put myself first in, in that way. Um, and it really made a big difference. Uh, for you, when you look at, not that you needed to, to prove anything, but, but did you need to prove yourself to yourself, to other people that you are an everyday player in the big yeah, leagues? A hundred percent. Um, you know, after my rookie year, I thought that I did a pretty good job of, of getting that opportunity. Um, you know, I, knowing, I didn't really know what position I was going to play the next year, but I thought I was third base was an option. Uh, obviously, we signed Azrubo, brought him in, and, and that kind of shifted my focus to catching. Um, so I was just, this is the way I look at this year. It's kind of like my, my second year um, in a way, what I would have done last year. But it, it, at the same time, um, you know, it, it also gave me time to just grow in the big leagues. As far as where Woody puts you in the lineup, is there, you know, you, you see different pitches based on, you know, where you are. Is there a place where you're most comfortable or is it important to be pushed outside those comfort zones because you might be in a different spot? Um, yeah, I was definitely more comfortable, probably the top of the lineup um, or at the bottom, just, just because I've always been that type of hitter. But, um, you know, in the three hole recently, I actually enjoy it. Um, I only started enjoying it recently, kind of had to make a little adjustment. But having, um, you know, when Willie's batting second and Joey's behind me, uh, I don't know what my splits are, but I think I hit lefties a lot better. Actually, I know I hit lefties a lot better. So having uh, Willie in front of me, hopefully they bring out the lefty. Um, and if not, the coaches know, on the other side know that, you know, I crush lefty. So then they got to bring in a righty and they bring in a righty and Joey gets to face a righty. So it's kind of like that cool little, you know, um, little mix around that uh, benefits the team. So um, I didn't look at it like that in the beginning. And, and now that you know, uh, that's happened. Um, I actually like it a lot. Thank you, Izzy. Other questions, please. Evan Grant. Izzy, um, there are two infielders in the major leagues that have more defensive runs saved than you, Nolan Arenado and Dansby Swanson. Um, I don't know if you're aware of that, but now that you are, what does that say to you? Um, it means a lot. It just shows, you know, how, how, how much, uh, how good of an infielder I am. Um, and I just wanted to put all that to rest because I know the catching was there. Um, people sometimes doubted that. And, um, you know, the people that doubted my catching, I just, you know, I wanted to, I want them to look back and understand how good of an infielder I, I am and, and how difficult that transition was for me, knowing that I'm that good in the infield. Um, you know, it's not like me moving to catcher because I wasn't good enough. It was me moving to catcher because I wanted to help the team. So I just, I mean, having this year just shows everybody that that's who I am and that's what I do. And are you now, do you now feel third base is your best defensive position? Uh, for me, it doesn't matter. Um, the way I look at it now, it's like shortstop's almost more of a third baseman. The way that they play righties in the hole, um, they move to the left and the second baseman's right there in their way. So the shortstop is actually kind of evolving to more of a hitter position, in my opinion, and less of a defend, defensive position. Um, you look when the lefty hits, the, the shortstop's behind second base, and the range that they have to cover isn't much. I mean, they're just getting hot shots right at them, uh, more so of what a third baseman would usually get. 
So I think uh, that benefits for me being a third baseman, especially when lefties come up. I have that whole side to myself um, rather than just a little maybe 15, 20 foot area at shortstop. So I'm able to make more plays that way. And um, did you did you have a gold glove in mind when this year started? I had it in my, my rookie year. Um, that was my goal my rookie year, especially coming from the minor leagues. Um, you know, I played against Chapman a bunch. Uh, you know, I knew he was uh, elite, and I, I didn't feel like I was far behind. So, you know, having him win a couple, even the platinum glove, um, you know, actually boosted my confidence a little, knowing having been able to see him so much in the minor leagues and play against him um, in double A for two years and high for one year. So, um, yeah, it just really boosted my confidence. And, you know, hopefully this keeps going, and hopefully, you know, I, I get it this year. Okay, great. Thanks, Izzy. Other questions, please. Anything else? Where is he? TR. Isaiah, kind of what you were talking about, it's almost like there's no such thing as a third baseman or a second baseman or a shortstop. It's kind of like football. They went from cornerbacks to safeties. Now they're all defensive backs. I guess my question is whether it's you or Josh Young or anybody, do we – Infielders now have to just come up and just say, I got to be able to play anywhere on the infield, no matter what it says next to my name in the lineup. Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, you see Machado move. I actually did in the beginning of the year, but you see the third baseman go and play deep right field now. So, I mean, it's more so of, of just being a defender and um, position. I see everybody kind of labeling people by position. I don't think it's like that anymore. It's more so of you just build your roster. Um, you know, you need a leadoff guy. Uh, fill out two, three, four, five, six, two through nine. And, um, you know, there's not really third base has to be a power hitter, shortstop this. I think it's um, you got to go with defense and you got to fill in the lineup based on what you have and uh, what you can acquire. With the, that play by Machado was kind of what, was an eye opener to me about what a third baseman may have to, to do. Was that for you as well? Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Right when I saw that, that's when I realized like there's it doesn't matter if you're the shortstop. That's that's kind of when I came to the conclusion because, you know, that's a third baseman making that play. Um, and Machado could also play shortstop. Um, so it's uh, you know it just shows that it doesn't matter what position you are. Like he's a third baseman catching a ball in right field. So it's weird. <laughs> Thank you, Isaiah. Couple more for Izzy, Matt Hicks. <laughs> Yeah, Izzy, just want to follow up on Emily's question. Do you feel like uh, that there is more pressure on you to perform batting in the number three spot? Um, no, I think, um, you know, I, I do feel sometimes in the, in the beginning, I felt like I had to hit for more power. And uh, the more and more I got comfortable hitting there, I just realized it's more of a, a lineup flow than anything. So um, just like defense, it's kind of the positioning doesn't really matter. Um, and the way the game is kind of going, you see other teams switching up their lineup based on who's pitching. So I think uh, nowadays everything's just about the flow. Okay, thank you. Levi. You may have just answered this, but I just want to make, make certain. Um, you told Emily that the first couple of games you weren't quite as comfortable in the three-hole, but then you made some adjustments. Was that just – the realization you were talking about that the position doesn't matter or were there other things that you did that to help you? Yeah, I, I mean, I was getting frustrated wondering why, like I was getting pitched certain ways and this and that. And, and then I came to the conclusion that I'm in the three hole because Willie brings in a lefty, then I'm in a good situation. Um, they bring in the righty for me because they don't want to leave a lefty in. And then it's a good situation for Joey. And then, um, you know, then they have to pitch again and Ruggie's right there in the five spot. So, and he has reverse splits, so it's it's you know I just started realizing that it's more of just the flow. You know, it, it was weird at first, but just understanding that part of it, that aspect, uh, makes a big difference. Yeah. So that was all just mental adjustments. There was no physical adjustments that you made. Just for trying yourself. to do too much, right right internally. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. We all good. You have another one, Evan. Quickly. Hey. Yeah, I have one more. Um, Isaiah, you've done a, a pretty good job against breaking balls this year, but this team has had a real issue against a breaking ball. Um, how are you? How do you feel like you guys are trying to address that, and and what has presented the biggest issue there? 
Um, you know, being a young team, uh, there's no excuses. Um, but coming up for me, I think, uh, especially in the off season this year, I had to evaluate myself. And the one thing I really looked at was OPS. Um, you know, when you've never hit for a high OPS, when you've never really broke out in the big leagues, the one thing you're trying to do to surprise people and make a name for yourself is uh, hit with a high OPS. Um, back in the day, you think high average is good, um, but there's a lot more to it. So being a young team with a lot of, um, I should say, established guys are trying to be established. I think the one thing everyone's trying to do is, is show their OPS. And uh, anytime you do that, you're vulnerable to sliders. So I think that's just going to come with uh, our team growing and understanding that our field is big. Um, we're not going to hit home runs like other teams. Uh, our team's not built for that. So I think just understanding that we need to just hit singles and run the bases and play good defense, kind of like the Royals when they went on their run. Um, we're not going to be like the Josh Hamilton, Michael Young, Beltre teams. We're going to be, you know, a smaller defense first, fast team. And um, that's just how it is with the, the new stadium. So it is what it is. And once everyone kind of learns that and that's when the OPS will go up, then I think that's when uh, we'll have more success as a team. And so when you're saying young team conscious of OPS, it sounds a little bit like everybody's aware of, of – everybody wants to hit for power. Is that basically what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, coming into this year, uh, I mean, my one thing that I didn't – I only cared about hitting homers in spring training – um, and driving the ball. And uh, the more and more we got into the season, I realized that that's hard to do at this level um, and to stay afloat. I mean, I think everyone needs to build a floor first. You know, you need to have that fallback. And my fallback was just to get my hits. Um, once I started struggling a little bit with the slider, I think I, I was struggling with right-handed sliders. I just decided to hit the ball hard on the ground, line drives, and that's when things started going well for me. So. I think uh, when everybody else kind of just realizes that, then that's gonna it's gonna make a huge difference.